Hello YouTube, this is VD Edition. This is a video continuing my series on unboxing the parts that are going in my uh, dedicated folder that I'm building here in November of 2010. So, this part, heart of the folder, is the 6-core Core i7-980X. So, let's hop right on into it. So, the 980X has all the typical features of an X58-based um, chip. It's got hyper-threading, which is great for my purpose because more threads for folding, the better. So that's why I got the 980X, because I'll have 12 threads. So in Task Manager, you see 12 uh, CPUs. It's got Turbo Boost, which I won't be using. Smart Cache, well, that's their cache is smart, okay. Uh, the integrated Memory Controller. Uh, triple channel memory, and I'm using uh, 6 gigabytes of memory. It's socket 1366, obviously it uses X58, I already said that. And you need a graphics card. As well as these come with a three year limited warranty. So, inside the packaging you're going to see this. And let's just take the CPU out first. And we'll put that to the side. CPU is uniquely comes in a cardboard box. And beyond that, there is the heatsink that comes with it. Also, there's the guide. So there's a user guide that comes here, states the install instructions, that there's a three-year limited warranty. There's also the Intel Inside the logo, which you get a black one because this is an extreme edition, so it's black. Now I think the K editions should come with a black one also, but that's just me. Uh, this is the, now they come with thermal compound. So um, I think what I've read and heard about is this might be Shinetsu, which is pretty good, but I'm gonna use Arctic Silver 5 just because that's what I've always used, so I won't be using that. And then there's the heatsink that comes with the 980X, which is phenomenal for an Intel heatsink. And you look at that. It's pretty dense fins. It's a pretty good little fan there. Very swept blades because it's supposed to go ahead and cool all the uh, voltage regulators and the MOS FETs and everything around your uh, chip, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got a quiet mode, and let's see if you can see it, yes, quiet and performance. But I'm not going to use this, I'm going to be using a um, ProLimatech Super Mega. And finally, we have the chip itself. Let's see if we can't zoom in on that. So we got i7, 980X, copyright 09. Uh, SLBUZ is the S spec. It's made, mine's made in Costa Rica. It's at 3.33 gigahertz stock, 12 megabytes of cache. The QPI is at a, a 6.4, and uh, my batch is zero. Uh, sorry, 3019B144. I couldn't read it through the camera. Hopefully, this will overclock well. I'm looking for at least 4 gigahertz, and with my cooling, that should be enough. Thank you for watch, uh, watching my unboxing of the Intel Core i7-980X.